Hello again guys and welcome to another Fishing Planet video. Now last time we was at the Everglades and I wanted to go there again just to do a little bit more. <coughs> Excuse me. Maybe uh, try and get one of those red drums or something. Now last time we had some light gear so I'll show you what I've got this time. I've got my Featherlight 7 foot rod which is a 9 pound rating with an 8 Point eight pound Prima 2000 reel with eight pound fluoro. Um, now that is too light for that rod, I think. Is it? Let's have a look. Oh, it's optimal. No, oh, one of them was too light. I'm sure of it. Is that the half ounce? Yeah, but th that'll be fine. That'll be fine. Uh, that's the Thora. Uh, it's twenty pound set up. We've got twenty pound braid on there with the line glider four thousand, which is an excellent reel. Recommend that for anyone who wants a twenty pound set up. It's got a twenty two pound drag. So yeah, that's really good. Little bass jig on there, and then I've got my plug set up. Uh, overkill really for this lake, for this area. It's a forty. I've got forty pound line on that forty pound four O X series. And a Thunderspin 5500 rated at 42 pounds. So the rods rated at 46. So it is good. And I've got a 6 foot 5 up crankbait on there. So see how that does. Might give it a try. Well, some of the bass, bigger the bass, you know, see. Pull them in easy with that though. Okay, so the floats out. We've got our Nero 10 foot 10 inch. With our Isperia MLR 2000. Now, on the last video, it, it was 10,000, over 10,000 at the Everglades to get this reel. So, we're going to see how much it actually is here. So, let's find it. The Isperia. Yeah, 7,200. So, it was like 3,000 credits more. So, like I said in the last video, definitely come to the get it at the home lake. You know, I mean, you can even get the three thousand. You know, which <laughs> it'll hold more line. It will hold a lot more line. But are you going to need that line if you're not bringing it in at three hundred foot? <laughs> it's it's spiraling you. Is my. Uh, <laughs> is my um, theory on that I mean if you had the extra 200 uh, onto it I suppose that would be a good option the 2500 one but I've just gone for the 2000 which is quite fine for what we're going to use it for second rod setup is a Phoenix 14 foot 10 22 pound rod with uh, another line glider 4000 lots of them I thought they were that good with 22 pound, uh, 20 pound braid on that, so that's a 20 pound float setup. And then the last one is the Brutus 11 foot 10, 33 pound rod, with a Thunderspin 4500, 35 pound reel, with 32 pound mono on that, so that's a 32 pound setup. Now, I can't remember what depth we was at last time, so we're just gonna wing it I've already got my license for the Everglades if you want to buy the license it's 4,000 credits uh, we'll just go for the day for the moment and we will see what we see see what we got um, baits right let's have a quick look at the baits now obviously I've got shiners small minnows and shrimp uh, we may try the crawfish cut again, some medium cut bait and that, um, I don't think there's anything else in here that we might be able to use, maybe some of the night crawlers but I think the shrimp might be our better option, we'll see. Okay, so let's travel and get on with uh, a bit of fishing, see what we can see, let's see what the weather's like. So the first two days are good. The, the, I like days like this because you can catch all day. 
Whereas these days you you have got to like you know from like nine till well, four-ish and just skip that part and then fish out the rest of the day there. But depends how you do. But we'll see. We'll see how we do. Okay, let's go then. Got all the gear. See what happens when we get there. Now, I think we'll start off at the Salty Delta where we ended last time. So, uh, if I remember, we started bass fishing last time at one of these docks and then we ended up at the Salty Delta. So, the fish species we're going to have a look at is the Snook again. See, they take shrimp, so we might get one or two of them on. Uh, these red drum, oh, they take shrimp too. I have had one, not on shrimp though. Tarpon, they take shrimps as well, and I didn't know they took shrimps. They do take crankbaits as well, so we may give our crankbaits a go for one of them. And then obviously we'll do a bit of peacock bass in. Uh, hmm. China's large minnows, crankbaits. Might try and get a couple of both in. We'll see. How big did they grow in here? Four to thirteen on average. But can weigh as much as twenty. Okay, that sounds good to me. Right. Um, we'll just go in a random room. You know, don't mind the people that are in there, and we'll see what we can catch. Let's go. So drink me a cup of tea. <clears throat> okay, come to the end of the duck. Uh there's no fish over there, but I'll let him fish there for now. Right, so we've got our shrimp on here. My lead set to 20, let's set it to 30. And let's put it just there's a little, see that just stuck up out of the water there. And we'll stick that there. Now, I don't know if any of you have played this game since the update, since the kayak update, but I'll tell you some of the developers have messed this game up. Oh, um, we've got a bite already. Look at that, that's brilliant. Oh my god, he wants that. Come on, take it, take it. Strike at it. Yeah, since the kayak update, the casting's changed slightly. And every now and then, it messes up. And the only way to fix it is to quit the game and restart the game. And I just think that is an absolute mess up. And I was on Falcon Lake last night with a few lads on there. <laughs> and it was so funny. It was so funny because one of them could actually stand in the water and see the fish. I kept getting in a tree. Um, it really has messed the game up. See if we can bring that up. That um, oh, wait a minute, wait a minute. Come on, we'll get this fish in, and I'll show you the picture of him stood in the tree, uh, uh, stood in the water, and he was able to fish in the water, looking at the fish, and he was telling me what fish I had on before I could even see it. And now we're in. Oh yeah, it's a decent looking. See, yeah, that's a nice looking fish. Come on. Oh, let's bring you in, bad boy. Come on, sucker. I'll remove that chat in a minute. Yeah, we'll remove it in a minute. I was going to try them, but let's see. Minimize, there we go. Get rid of that. While we're fighting this. So this is the gear, like I said last time, the, the level that you'll be when you can come here. I'd personally wait till an extra level 
I think it's 18 to come here, so I'd, I'd wait till level 19. I think you can get a bigger cute net then. What we got? And first fish out, we get one of the ones we was after. And there he is, a red drum. It's a nice looking fish. I'm giving a good wiggle there. Three hundred and fifty dollars, ninety-eight experience on the shrimp at thirty inches, just by that log that's sticking out of the water. I like that. That's nice. Right, I'll just show you this picture off from Falcon Lake last night. It was um, interesting to say the least. Um, let me see if I can bring this up here. I'm stood in there. Right, there, there's him stood in the lake. Absolutely like that. I, I was stood up in a tree um, just over here at this other peg over this side. There's a tree and it just kept me flicking me right into the top of the tree. Uh, it really has glitched. And it is not good. There he is there fishing in the water. Fishing in the water. And there he is actually under the water with his rod sticking out. And he got in the water over at where you get the brown trout. Now, I'd first glitched and gone up in the air. I was like, say, stood on someone's head higher up. And I said, come over here and have a look at this. I've glitched here, there's something wrong here. He come over, walked in the water and just kept walking. And then he could walk around the whole lake, having a look around, so he could see the laws, and he could tell you the fish is after it and all that. It, it was crazy, and he fished, he actually got fish in the water like that. And he could see, he was float fishing and everything, and he could see his bait in the water. It was, it, it, it was a strange situation, but, yeah. A few of the, like, just there and all, you can't walk up to the water the same as you could. They have really messed up some of the some of the stuff in this game, and I hope to do fix it soon. But there you go. There's that. So right, okay. Let's get another one of these red drops. See if we can get another one. Let's see the fish action there. There's a lot of action over there. And this rod will only cast that far with this bobber on. I've only got a light bobber on. But 108 is fine for what we're going for with this rod let's see if we can get another in here action just yet oh. say if we just got a 6.4 pound trophy large mouth bass it's a nice fish and there we go, got some action and we've got a snook this time common snook or oh, no it's slow it's carp white so it's gonna be one of them again I think this would be nice it's a slow bite yeah I haven't heard really decided where to fish yet Someone asked me to take a look at Alaska, so I may do that this, there we are, we're in, this coming week. Um, but if you have any preferences, and, or you want me to go somewhere and fish for some of the species in them places, please leave a comment below, and I will have a look, and whichever one's the most popular, I think we'll do. Um, I have been to a few of the lakes since the update and yeah, they're not as productive as they were. There's another one, there we go, in the light, let's move that around, oh there you go, there you are, look at that, beautiful coloration, they really have made a, a good job of designing these fish and the physics of the fish are nice. Okay, eight pound and two hundred and fifty-five. Okay, I'm going to invade on my friend here a minute because 
really wanted to get over here. He's spinning anyway, so we won't do that. We'll go just, there's more, see there again, there's more sticking out. Some more things sticking out there. So we're gonna go stick our float just over here. Where's he gone? He's still there. This is the other thing. You can see his name is still there, but he has disappeared. This is the other thing I've noticed that's been happening. People just disappearing. We're already into a fish. There he is. He's, he's just reappeared. See, now the developers, I think, need to <laughs> fix this. This should never have been an issue because they had people testing this on beta testers. Um, and all I'm saying, yeah, it's great and all this lot. And I have had nothing but trouble. And there has been a lot of other people that have had glitches and the most common one is the the la the casting the casting problem your cast it'll say you've gone 280 feet and your spinner or float lands a few feet in front of you you reel in try again does the same thing ooh, ooh. and then the only way you, you even leaves i've even left lakes lost money gone back and it's it's just the same so then I've had to quit the game and lose money and we're in we're in okay here we go see he's disappeared again he's there he has just disappeared I just don't I just think that they really could do with sorting this out well this is a good fish let's take in line come here is this a snook Going into reeds, get out of the reeds. Oh, oh, he was there again and it disappeared. Yeah, it's a snook. So the snook are over this side on the nice one. Five pounder. And keep him. There he is, giving a good wiggle. Nice fish, and got him in the light. There we go. See you guys. Okay, let's catch another one of them. These shrimps really do work well. Just there, there's that log sticking out there. I'm just going to cast just behind it. I've not changed my depth, I'm still at 30 inches. And this is early in the morning, we're coming up to peak time for the morning period. He keeps flashing on and off. That's what I think that I wanted to go into a normal room because I wanted to see if any of these issues started popping up or whether it was going to make me out to be a liar. But yeah, um, they really have messed up the PC version. So, and there it, oh no, you bugger. <laughs> well, we'll try again. Yeah, they really have messed up the PC version. So... Let me know if any of you guys who do play it have had any similar issues, any of the issues that I've talked about. Okay. And yeah, just let me know your feelings on it in the comments, please. thing you should have done is got rid of that bird. <laughs> that should have been an update. The sound effects are good enough without that thing going on, croaking away. But yeah this this rod's really good for this kind of fishing. I mean I, I don't know if you'd go for tarpon with it. I think that might be a bit much for it but on come on there we go yeah we're in this time we're in this time don't now I have only got a, a number two hook on this so it's not a massive hook because I, I thought well there's no point going trying going for the really big ones as you can see this is putting up a good they put up good fights these fish this is a bass I think it's a bass this is a bass. 
Oh! Oh! Hey, up now! A trophy largemouth. Oh, nice. I like that. Good money for the weight. Nice experience. Where is it? So, the bass are over there as well, the largemouth. Now, I did not know the largemouth were over there. So, here we are. Is it, he's still there. In. Look, there's his name. Look, see his name in, on the fish. Oh, he's reappeared again. We'll put that in the keep net. Oh, really? Well, I really wanted another snook. Didn't know the bass were going to get it. There is, I mean, they have updated some lily pad areas. There is some new lily pads appeared. There is some on Falcon Lake. Um, Michigan. At St. Croix. Where, if you've seen videos before on where the pike spot is, that is now totally out of the water. That that is that is just been blown away because now you can fish all along the reed area. Wherever it used to go there and used to be like four or five people stood exactly in the same spot fishing for the pike. But now you can move round, you can go along the reeds, and they added boats, but you can still fish everywhere with the new update that the boats can get now, I think. And I do think removing fairy tale, the fairy tale dock was a mistake, because that was a beautiful place to fish. Oh god, he took me bait, I'm going to have him. Oh, get off. Snag. Yeah, you don't have to worry about snags with this setup. It'll be fine. He ate my bait. That cheeky so-and-so. We'll have that. I'm happy with him now. Oh, the other up, the other part of the update that I really do like is that. You press the Z key and you can zoom into your bobber. And that is... I, I, I like that. I like that. That is a good update. I do like that one. I mean, don't get me wrong. They have improved some of the graphical qualities of it. Some of the areas do look a little different. Um, New York has got a slight different look to it. Go on, just take it. Take it. Don't just pop it around. So that does look nice. I mean, I don't for, for the life of me why they've added everything. And then it zooms back out once you strike, yeah. So you don't have to press it, you'd be kept zooming in. Um, but yeah, New York, um, Emerald Lake, I mean, I would have just added new fishing points to that. That's another snook. 4.8 pounder. Oh, get out of the sun. That way around. There you go. There he is. So, you know, not amazing money, but as long as you've got a big enough keep net, you can catch a few, a few of them and then you're good okay right now let's go to these and here let's change what rod are we on number four so that's number five rod that sun's glaring small minnows now what should we set the lead to I'm going to set it to 50 inches. And I go and cast straight out there. See how far we get with this. Well, we'll have to put a bigger bobber on. 141. Okay, okay. We'll leave that there a minute. See what happens. I do think we've got to be a little bit further. But we'll see, there is some big ripples out there. Fish jumping. But yeah, the Emerald Lake thing. Um, kayaks on Emerald Lake. Now, I think they're only 2,000 to rent. And this, this, this is to rent for in-game days. So the day we're on now is the day you get to rent it for. The guy's got a bass. Um, now to me it isn't worth it unless you can really fish and farm and since that the farming potency has been 
slackened slightly. I do think that you're now spending more money than you can receive back in cases. Um, the other thing with the bolts is they rock like crazy. If you, I've seen people do a full 360 in the bolt. You know, <laughs> and that is just a ridiculous thing. I mean, they should be more stable. They rock like crazy. If you get a 15 pound pike on it, St. Croix, expect to be getting a bit seasick. That's all I can say. You will get a bit seasick. I was seasick just watching people, and I just thought, I'm not spending. I mean, at St. Croix, 4,000 for a day. So, I'm not into that. I do like the zoom. You see that there, the area of the reflection change. What? It's disappeared. Come in. And there it is. I suppose it's just like your eyes focusing a little. But we're not getting a bite here. I thought these tarpon would have been active. There's plenty of uh, ripples out there. Maybe I need to put a bigger bobber on and go further. Let's try that. Let's try putting a bigger bobber on. I think I've got a chubby on at the moment. And I will put the heavy, extra heavy bobbers on. Alright, let's go into our bobbers. I will take the chubby off. And I will put this big pear one on, which is an extra eye one. Um, I have a friend here, do I? Right, well, we won't go just yet. Because I just might not want to be in the stream. In the recording, should I say. I'm going to move to this end this time. Right, I'm here. I thought I was walking into the water then. Right, I'm going to see how far we can get this time. Okay, get it out there. 163. See, so you know, that made a difference, didn't it? Let's zoom in, see what we can see. Let it do its thing. Let it do its thing. And we'll see what happens. Does the glare on the sun change? It does slightly, it fades slightly. Let it do its thing, come on. I'm going to shorten the depth in a minute. I think 50 inches might be a bit deep for this area. Got the elusive tap. Yeah, the mouse is a bit twitchy and all in zoom mode. Oop. Sorry about that. Oop, there you go. You just touch it and it, it's off. I'm getting no bites, no hits. So I don't know what's happened with these tarpon. I'm going to leave that on and I'm going to try changing the depth by 10 inches at a time. Maybe bring it in, see you don't see you click, bring it in, I'll bring it 156. And zoom in again. Yeah, the zoom feature they should keep, but the kayaks they should get rid of. I mean, they're just not stable, they are, they're just, I mean, if you want to use them just to have a bit of fun roam around, that's fair enough. But there's a lot of people using them to go down Pike Alley in Michigan, and I stood on the other side at the reeds and caught the same fish they did. So they just wasted 4,000 uh, 4, buying a kayak, and phew, that could have been 4,000 to get your new gear and stuff like that, you know. Oh, we have a, a wobble. Is that a bite or was it just a minnow swimming around? It did flick a little bit. We'll see, we'll see. We'll give it a minute. 
not going to give it too long because I'll go and get some of them butterfly bass, peacock, them butterfly peacock bass, you know. Okay, let's bring that in and change the depth. I'll change the depth to 40. So it's at 50 at the moment. I'll drop it to 40, give it a couple more minutes at that distance. They do take large minnows, don't they? Or am I am I on the wrong bait even? Where are they? Sap on. Drag ah oh, right, crawfish cut, large minnows and shiners and shrimps. Should I left the shrimp on? Right, let's try this cork crawfish cut. Um we've got our minnows on. Wait. Let's take our small minnows off. Where's our crawfish cut? It's up at the top, isn't it? Yeah, there it is. Crawfish cut. Change our leader to 40. And go back to the room. See, we're at the height of the morning period now, so let's cast that out there. Okay. 50 may have been fine. You can go as far with a lighter bait on. If I put one of them shiners or large minnows out, I would get like 180 nearly. See, there's a, a set of reeds there now, I know. I didn't notice them last time. But obviously, you're back here and it's covered by the tree so you can't see them. And we have a bite, we have a bite, we have a nibble at 40 inches depth. We're going to get one. Zoom back out a little bit. I like it, it's alright but I'm okay looking at the side. We're not getting a bite now. We have a nibble. We need it there a little longer. Come on fishies. Just give it a, a little flick. Come on. Flicking the rod just rattles the bait and just might get a little interest. Right. Have a nibble. But yeah, I do I do like the Everglades. It's a fun place. After last time, I enjoyed last time. I carried on fishing and I will tell you I did get one on this on that other rod that spooled me. I think I was just trying to aim a bit big. I wish I'd recorded it. But I continued to fish and hooked into something that was too much for the rod. Definitely too much for the rod. It was probably about a twenty pound, twenty five pound tarp and I think and yeah it just I had it on for about 20 minutes and in the end it just took everything it just ran and disappeared so call I had 300 foot on and it just went it just went now I won't do that on this if we do get our bite it's not happening at 40 Okay, let's try 30. 30 works around this area, so I'm hoping it'll work down there. You get somewhere. This is the reality of it. It's not always like you see in some of the other videos where it's catch after catch. Unless you go Falcon Lake, I could, uh, you know, if you look at the other videos, you can't. You still can pretty much catch constantly. Okay, there's 30 inch. 63, let's bring it to 159. Let's see what we get. Let's see if we get any nibbles. Any tapers. I 
Now I've got my four rocks put on this. Pretty much the hook I've on it all the time. On this rod. Because um, I mainly get the pike at Michigan with this rod. And the other big rod is going to be for the really big salmon and you know, the Chinook salmon and steelheads and things like that. California. But once you, once you get this um, Phoenix, oh and there we go, there we go, we're having a good nibble on that. Come on. Are you going to take it? Are you just going to play? Let's see. Bait was pulled? I've that will be the hook size I think. Okay, okay, let's um, change hook size. If it does that, it means usually it can't get the bait and hook in its mouth. So we will um, just we will go down to a two up. We will leave it as it is, but see at the moment I have these X series hooks. I ended up gaining two sets of them. I don't know why. They want to give you two sets. Right, we'll put this two out on. And we will go back and see what we see. Okay, just back out there. It was at 159, wasn't we? Let's see. Oh, there you go, cat. I'll do. I'll do. Let's see what we can see. Hopefully, it's still hanging around that fish. <clears throat> but yeah I would still say <clears throat> go to Emerald Lake buy the advance license and grind the money do the day do the, the night fishing there is excellent for the walleye definitely excellent Right, he's nibbling, he's nibbling on that, he's, come on. And that is your best bet to just level up and get your money. Now do that before you come. In fact, after that, Falcon Lake is probably your next, next best bet. Come on, take it. He's, he's having a good play with that. Yeah, go on. So 30 inches, he's lucky. There we are, we're in. I should bring him in easy with this, this 20 pound set up. Oh, he's, a, he's, yeah, I'm a, he's tugging, he's tugging. Oh yeah. Um, yeah, Falcon Lake, I love, just because the wall are okay, they fight not bad. They give you good money and good experience, but they are not the same fun as those trout at Falcon Lake. You know, they are just the fun fish I mean oh this is fighting now this is nothing this those things use your light tackle the feather light and there's our tarpon what have we got 12 pound tarpon that's right coming dead easy I'm giving a good fight though it's looking good in it I was putting in the light there there we go he looks nice good enough to eat okay 400 Bucks for him, twelve pound. Right, we've had uh, a few good fish out of here. So let's change to our oh, spinning rods. Wrong one. That was really polite gear. We're going to go to the spinning rods. Now I've got this. This is the feather light, eight pound set up. So let's uh, go down here, and it'll. Um, I, I think you should be able to walk to all the places, watch, there you go, and then you go to there, right, let's go to Infinity Tunnels, let's try the Infinity Tunnels, let's go there, here we go, there's no one here, we're all good, this is um, nice for us, oh, they're all down the other side, right, let's, let's, um, oh, that's floating thickets, let's go across that then. <laughs> Steal some of his fish. Right. Now I like my two speed stop and go on here because it's only shallow. It's still nice. It's 
I like doing erratic stop and goes me. I know a lot of people do nice steady stop and goes. I do like doing, especially on Falcon Lake, those trout seem to love this kind of stop and go, but on a three speed on this because the deeper it is, to give it a little bit more. That's what we get. Okay. If we get a really big and it'd be a fight and a half on this rod. The good thing about this rod and all, this rod and reel setup, that you can take it quite well because it's a cheap setup. It doesn't cost a lot to repair. Um, the keep net I've got at the moment costs more than it cost me yesterday to repair this rod and reel and replace the line. Um, yeah, when my keep net gets to about to ninety-four percent. Oh, big fish! Right. 94% durability, it um, cost me 4,000, nearly 5,000. Now, yesterday this rod and reel was down, the, the reel was down to 56% durability. The rod was down to 60. And altogether that cost me about 2,000. I think it was two to two and a half thousand. So, yeah, the cheaper gear, people don't like it at times because they're always trying to get big, heavy gear. And oh, oh, we missed him. Never mind. Keep trying. Um, yeah, yeah. I have to stick with some of the. There we are. We're in. See when I noticed it going blue on the side. A good fish come on um, I just flip the right mouse button just to strike it it's a peacock is it no is it a large mouth oh, it's a peacock there we go nice three and a half pounder good money all right well we're, we've um, guaranteed that one works so our next rod to try on here will be this bass jig oh. I've not used these bass jigs so I can't tell you a lot about them. Cast's good enough. Oh, that one's a bit low, but right, so looks like it's gonna be a two speed. No a three speed on this rail rod. Now that action is what people try and do. Just put a little flick in there every now and then. Let's see. I've not, I've not had any much luck with these bass jigs, to be honest. I don't have much luck with them. Let's try down here. Get down there. Go on. That's not a bad distance, was it? 150. So it's it's a bit light for this rod, half ounce. But I'm not buying a jig winner just to use half ounce gear or when I can get 150 feet with this. Might try a lift and drop in a minute. See if that can get a bite. We'll see, we'll see. Yeah, nothing taking that. Let's try left and drop. Way there, way there, way there. Stop. Bad cast. I'm just looking. Now you can zoom in on this, but it's a waste of time. There's some weeds there and some well, obviously some reeds, but there's some lily pads. I might try and get around there. Let's have a look. If I can get, oh yeah, just where that is there. And then try and come past there with a lift and drop. And I 
nice left hand drop. I mean, I never get more than one or two on my lift and drop, but it, it works. If you watch my Falcon video, my Falcon Lake one, the Oregon one, I, do, I use the lift and drop on there and it works flawlessly. Flawlessly. And that silver spoon, um, the silver narrow spoon for Oregon. 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 Falcon Lake, I got a unique rainbow trout out, oh yes we're in, I got a unique rainbow trout out there yesterday with that, um, and it was, it was a nice fish, oh this is pulling, this is a £20 setup, he's giving some to yeah, oh come on, is that a large mouth, a peacock, it's a lot, I am astounded, so, that is my first fish on a bass jig, <laughs> believe it or not. That is my first fish on a bass jig, and I've lost experience, but I'm not bothered. I'm more about the money at this point. Um, cause I'm already a level 40, so it's, it's more about just getting cash and just having fun. But I like that, there you go, there he is. We've got, we've, got, oh, we've got some sunshine glare there a little bit. Stop putting water on the camera. Uh, yeah. Okay. Now our third rod. we got one on that. I'm happy with that. Hey. Is this crankbait. Now this, I'll be able to pretty fire these fish in. But let's give this a go. Now this is a six foot crankbait. So I'm just going to leave it on one speed and reel it in and it should hopefully get us a fish. It's a 5 or up crankbait so let's see yeah it goes all the way down to the bottom now let's stop a second yeah it's been close to the bottom Six foot, maybe a little bit much. I'm thinking, you know, maybe on the bottom. Let's see, let's see anyway, see if I'll take it. I think six foot might be a bit much. Oh, big swirl over there. See that, see that. So there's some there's some shallower and deeper areas there. Right, what have I got by a six foot? I don't want a three foot one then really, don't I? I don't want to be fishing that at the bottom, it's a big lot though. Let's have a look what we've got. Don't want the eight foot. Got that three foot. I don't think I've got any more three foot ones. Yeah, it looks like we're gonna have to use that. Right, let's go out there again, see what we can do. Come right past these um lily pads. Won't cast quite as far. Still cast pretty decent. Right, let's do the three foot. There's some more swirls there, look at them. Yeah. See that's hovering that's hovering around there. There we go. We're in. We're in. That one worked. That crankbait worked well. First cast, straight past them lily pads and reeds. And we're in. I'm flicking him out all over the place with this thing. Another butterfly, peacock bass. Okay. Put him in the net. Um Right, let's go to our next peg. See, you should be able to walk. It's only around there. You should be able to walk. There you go. Back to there. Let's go to here now. Right. Uh, see, he's he's disappeared. This guy has disappeared. Shall we? Nah, I can only get around there, can't I? Um, let's try over here through these lily pads. Now, I hit the lily pads. How about that? I know I'm at that. 
I marked it just there where it's blue. Uh, a little shot. See, there we go. There we go. Now let's see. Come past it. Oh my God! Three foot. It sinks it. Let's just flick it. Little little rails just to. This must be. Oh, right, well, get out. This won't have a problem. It's forty pound line on this. Look at that. It goes right to the bottom. Okay. That's room. Um, yeah. So that three foot crankbait. Oh, and we're in. I was just going to say it's not much good for it, but. He wanted it. It's not. I tell you what, it's it's only shallow until you get to around these lily these lily pads here, and then it just gets a bit deeper. Oh, he's gonna. Is he gonna over there? Oh no, he's still stood. See, he's still stood here, but we can't see him. This this game is uh, a little bit strange, right? I think we'll change that. Let's try this spoon again. I'm going to cast all the way over there, as far as I can get it, well, as far as I can get it in a comfortable thing, and we're going to do our stop and go. at your stop and go now and all at times sometimes it doesn't react quite as it used to so they've definitely done some strange things with this update which I'm not happy about but won't stop me playing the game it's just a little inconvenient every now and then just glad we've not had one of the cast issues. Fingers crossed, you watch now. If we get a cast issue, I won't be happy. Right, I think we'll do a little float fishing here, so we'll grab our float rig out again. Um. Hmm. We'll get a night crawler on this. I don't. I don't want to change the float again. Um. Oh, did we put we put a, a heavy bobber on it, didn't we? Um. No, we've still got the oval on. Okay. We've still got the oval on. That'll do. Right. So we are at thirty inches. Uh. Let's get over here, cause. That's a supposed to like night crawlers, aren't it? Oh no, no! What did I just say about the? Watch this, the casting issue. I am going there. Oh no, no! It was me. It was me. Oh god! Thought I was gonna have to restart the game there then, and yeah, thirty inches is too deep. So we're gonna have to go to twenty inches. I think maybe even less. We'll see. We'll see. We'll put it at 20. Number two will come. Just get straight out there. Among the lilies. Yeah, that was me. Oh, God. Hey. Is that too deep? Is that too shallow? Right. That is too shallow, guys. It's too shallow. What was, what was we last time? 12 inches, wasn't we? I said 12 inches. I think it was 12 inches last time when we was here. i will not check the video. But... Ah, there we go. There we go. I'll do. See if we get some night crawler action. Any of the bass want a night crawler?
I do like the red worms on Texas Lone Star cast around 90 foot out 85 to 95 feet and I go around 55 inches deep and put a worm on and I get the bat I get the bass in there with that if you don't want to do the spinning route it's having a good nibble isn't it it's having a really good nibble at this come on take it there we go and we're in so if you don't want to do the float fishing uh, the spinning and you just want to do a bit of float fishing you can do that here and that is not a bass that is a, a warm up that's a new fish for me and it's a trophy as well for the first one I've ever caught I am happy with that let's get him in the light here let's see if I have a look at him there he is yeah stop putting water up there look at that that's a nice little fish isn't it well we'll keep that okay so let's try over here then instead so you know it does say bass on the uh, night crawler description that you can get with it so we'll see we'll see what happens now we know the bass takes shrimp but I was you know thinking well you know try try a worm And we're getting the nibble again. We're getting the nibble. Come on, fishies. So this place does sit, because the boats haven't been added to this place. So, <laughs> it just seems as it was, and I like that. I don't think the boats would improve it any, or give you anywhere where you can go, unless, you want, unless they allow you to go down the channels. Um, I know that on... Michigan where you go out to channel and go out you can there's a massive oh there we go there's a massive lake section but you still you still you know it's a bit stronger you still can't go where you'd want to go which is fair way out and we have a brown bull head another personal record cause it's it's not the first one I've got but that's the biggest there you go well, uh, let's have a look at him. And there he is. He's a nice looking fish and all. Can you zoom in? Well, no, you can't zoom in while you're like that. No, you can't zoom in. Be nice, won't it? But yeah, there you go, there's another. So you can get a various amount of things on these. Uh, see if we can get further over. Yeah. Where was we? It was just round there, weren't we? Let's see if we can get just right there. See what we can get. There we go. Boom! Splash! Splash down! Let's zoom in. Have a look at our bobber. There it is. Now I've got the bobber size set to medium, which is a nice, happy me. It's a happy setting for me. So you you could feasibly leave it on the small setting and zoom in, but if you're if you're over like this 140, say like before when you was like. It was like 150, 160 foot out. Then there we go. We went. I think it'd look still a bit small, but it'd be real realistic, wouldn't it? Well, this has got a bit more tug to it. I still think it's a catfish, though. Yes, it is. Another brown bull head. Okay, so for these bass, I'm gonna have to go to my other setup. Not that one. <laughs> it's the only thing when you get so many different rods. And we're gonna put uh, I'm gonna put a small minnow on this. And we're gonna set the lead to 12 inches and we're gonna go back over here and see what we get. And I've got that big bloody bobber on and I don't want that on. Let me change that bobber back to a, what I wanted it. I only used it to get the distance before so I don't usually use the big one on my I'll stick that there, stick the chubby back on and 
Stephanie's left the lake now. She must have had enough. But we're going to stick with it a little bit longer. Ho oh, ho, Jake Vegas. Hello, my friend. Now, there's a guy. Check his channel out. Go and subscribe to his channel. Say hi. Say skillful sent you. And he's a great guy. He is such fun with his videos. I tune in when he's on. I have fished with him a bit and got a snag. Don't like that. Come on. Don't want a snag. Come on. Let's get back out there. Snags are not good. Oh, that might be in the snag area again. No, here we go. Here we go. It's usually, if you're there and it's fine, and then you get a snag a little later on afterwards, it's usually because the minnow has swam into the reeds. But yeah, go and check out Jake Vegas's channel, Jake Vegas Digital. He has some really good videos on there, really fun. Um, so yeah, go and check him out. Go and subscribe, like his videos. Just leave him a note, say, yeah, seen Skillful's channel, thought we'd come and, he mentioned you, and thought we'd come and say hi. And like I say, guys, don't, don't forget, um, leave a message, leave a little comment about if there's anywhere where you want me to go and fish, and I will go and fish there. I'll, be, I'll gladly go and give it a try. I mean, I've not been to Alaska yet. I think I've not been to Louisiana because there we go we're in fish on um, there's no point going there because if I was going there I could now because I've got the gear now but the, the level you open it there's not much point because the bloody fish are massive that is the biggest fish in the game in it and I just think that the nets you're gonna get okay so here we go the keep nets you're gonna have new record oh it's a trophy there we go and this is why you buy your advanced license so you can get the trophies yes trophies and uniques in fact here if you only buy a basic license you can't catch hardly anything and there is really no point in having that basic license on you still there my friend is yeah well, should we try over here give this a try oh, now we know it's only shallow over there so we'll give it a go 12 inches should be good because we had that three foot uh, crankbait on which was uh, zoom in see what we got so you see it floating around there moving around that's the bait that's the minnow and oh we're in straight away oh god brilliant I love it really is the place for the bass and I do like float fishing for the bass as well spinning's nice I prefer spinning for trout and things like that and salmon. Oh no, it's it's a uh, bowfin. Nice bowfin. Hello, bowfin. Let's get a little shot in there. So, look at that. There you go. Really nice looking fish. Keep him. Yeah. So the bowfin are over here. Now then, now then, now then, now then. At least I know where I'm going for me bow fish. That's how it came from the forums. Going to that three will max a day. I've done more than three days. I've done more than three days. I'll tell you that. I did seven days at Michigan once. Just to grind the cash. But that was before the update. And I will say it's not as cash worthy now. It's a lot harder. You pike and it's just not biting as much. So yeah. And then we oh yeah, buggy. <laughs> oh, that bugger fish. He ate my minnow. That was 
30 credits for him, you know. Mm. Time to get him. Time to get him. We'll get this and I will call it the video. We've had a red drum. We've had a tarpon. We've had a snook. We've had a, a couple of trophy fish, which I've been quite happy about. Uh, black bullheads. Uh, that trophy war, war mouth. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I think there's not much left to get on here. Maybe just the Oscar. But I'm not really bothered about that. There, I think they're back over at the Delta. Yeah, Salty Delta. I think they're over there somewhere. So, uh, we'll see. We'll see. Maybe I'll do a future video going just for them, but I doubt it. I don't like doing that. I like having a bit of varied fishing. You know. But yeah, please let me know in the comments, guys. What you think. And anywhere you'd like me to go and check out. And let you know, you know, what it's like. Take the zoom off a minute. Yeah, I prefer it without the zoom. It's a little more realistic for me. Oh, there we go. And the rear end. As soon as I take the zoom off. There we go. Do I have not noticed that bird either? Thank God. Oh, it's a largemouth bass. There we go. Not a big one, but it'll do. It'll pay for the bait anyway. <laughs> no, so you got to take 30 off that because you've obviously used the minnow. So you take 30 off it. It's only 159 because you got to replace your minnow. Remember that, guys. You got to replace your minnow. You replace, you work out your, your bait. Uh, it's 300 for 10. So it's 30, 30 per minnow. And then take it off. So always count her in that your bait costs. Especially when you're going to be using things like the large minnows because they are 950 or 900 summit for five. So you want to be using them on the pikes, the big pike and things like that where you're going to get like a thousand to 1500 credits. Yeah, because they are expensive, let me tell you. Yeah, the shiners, they're the ones. Shiners and these small minnows stock up on them. Come places like this, use your minnows to get the bass, and you'll be good. If you don't, don't have enough money for a lot of bait, go to Falcon Lake, use a silver narrow spoon, and just farm the hell out of Falcon Lake. Because for me, pound for pound, you can make a lot of money at Falcon Lake. Okay? Or, or, or emerald. Emerald depends what you prefer. If you prefer emerald with the rain and things like that, then be my guest. I'm not a fan of the rain. Um, have a quick look at this other dock area in a minute. I'm not a fan. Oh, everyone's here. <laughs> everyone's here. It must be busy. Right, come on this side though. Um, yeah, I'm not a big fan of the rain there. I don't mind the night fishing. And then it rains at night sometimes as well there, so that's a bit more... Oh, hello, mate. Oh, you're all right. Oh, uh, don't come in my face. <laughs> what the hell is he up to? Right. Yeah, um, but Falcon Lake for me is the one I really like. Okay. Okay, guys, I'm going to continue fishing. Take care. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe uh, buttons. Uh, hit notifications if you like, a uh, little bell, I think it's on mine, I'm not sure, but yeah, and it'll let you know when I put a new video up, which we'll be doing again this week, which will probably be Alaska, my first visit, I've not been there yet, so a friend of mine asked me to go, because he's, he's not at level 38 yet, so he can't go, he's just got to level 34, so he can go to California, which he's looking really forward to. Um, but he did send a message on one of my vid last videos, I think it was the last Everglades video actually, that he'd like me to go to Alaska. So I shall go there 
this week I think for my first visit and let you know what it's like but anywhere else you want me to go I'll show you how to catch fish if you're interested anything like that then please just comment it's fine I'll check them out okay guys well take care have fun fish well and tight lines to you all uh, I'll see you all in the next one okay bye bye